Hey everybody, this is Craig from Org Spring. Today we are going to show you how to create a Facebook page for your nonprofit or your organization. This is slightly different than just having a regular Facebook account which links to your personal friends and your contacts. When you see the like button up there out on the internet, that relates to a page. You can like or be a fan of a page. You need a Facebook personal account to create a Facebook page for your nonprofit or your organization. So if you don't yet have a Facebook personal account, you won't be able to create a Facebook page. So the first thing you'll need to do is create a Facebook personal account. And if you look at the bottom of this post in the article, the text part of this post, you will see a link which will take you to another tutorial which shows you how to set up a personal Facebook account. Once you've done that, you will be able to create a page for Facebook. Well, let's talk for a moment about what a Facebook page is. Best way to show you what a Facebook page is is to actually show you one. So I have the Org Spring Facebook page open here and you'll notice it looks a lot like a personal page. On the left side you have your logo, you have your wall, your different tabs. Here is your wall where you can post status updates. On the right side, Facebook gives you recommendations of people you might know. And way on the right is your personal stream. These are people who are available for chats and you could speak with them. So what we have here is just a regular page, although this is a page for either your corporation or your organization or your nonprofit. And the benefit to having one of these is it separates your business from your personal side of things. And here you can have supporters because you may be sending out different messages corporately than you are personally. You might also have different members of the organization who you can make an administrator to post to this for you as well. Whereas only you can post to your personal Facebook page, you can have many people who can post to your corporate page or your organizational page. It also has SEO benefits, search engine optimization, and you can list your Facebook page as a page out there in the internet where people can link back to. It's a great place to develop community for your organization. So to create your own Facebook page for your organization, you will go to the Create a Page website within Facebook. In the tutorial text of this message, you will see a link to that page. It's actually pretty simple to find. All you need to do is go to your web browser address bar, facebook.com forward slash pages. And that will take you to the Facebook pages page. And there are a whole host of different pages from different corporations and different people, celebrities, organizations. You can see all different types of headings here. And to create your own page, you come up here to this little button, create page. I'm going to hide the sidebar so we can see the full create a page. Now there are different types of headings for the different types of categories of pages. It could be a local business or a place. This is kind of a brick and mortar type of thing. Maybe you have a restaurant. You can have a company, organization, or institution. You could have a brand or a product, you know, something like Coca-Cola. An artist, band, or public figure. This is where a celebrity would go. Entertainment, this could be a page for a movie or uh, a movie company, that kind of thing. A cause or a community. So if you are a cause or a community of people, you can use this page here. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through. This is geared toward nonprofits, so we're going to click on cause or community. Now, please note, uh, Facebook does allow donations directly through the Facebook portal through Facebook causes, but you will have to be a registered 501c3 or other nonprofit, uh, registered nonprofit entity with the IRS to be able to get donations through Facebook. Uh, so if you're not a registered nonprofit, you might consider using uh, a company, organization, or institution. For now, we will go under cause or community. And you're going to it says cause or community join your fans on Facebook so cause or community this is asking for your name so we are going to name this and you can name this anything we will name it the just a general page here the John Smith Foundation 
and you're going to click I agree to Facebook terms. If you have not read the Facebook page's terms, what you can and cannot do, you could click on this. It'll open a new window and you could read through that. I suggest you do. Then you'll click get started. Now you'll see here, you must indicate that you have permission to create this page. So I guess I didn't click on that. Get started. Now this is going to create the page. And there it is. It's going to bring me to a profile photo. Now if you don't have a logo or you don't have a profile picture, you'll notice down here that you can skip ahead in the process. If we did have a picture, you could add it right through here. Don't worry, you can also add the picture later. For now, we'll hit skip. It brings you to step two, get fans. Invite friends. Build the popularity of a page by suggesting it to friends who might like it. Now, this is going to tap into your Facebook, your personal friends, and let them know that this page was created so that they can then come and like your organization page. This is always a good idea and I recommend that you do it. We're going to skip it now because I'm creating a dummy page and we don't want to send a message to my friends about a dummy page. You can also import contacts from other areas like Gmail or Yahoo Mail or other mail servers like Outlook. This Facebook plugin has the ability to import your contacts, email addresses, and then send them a message to let them know that your page exists now. You'll click make sure this is clicked share this page on my wall and you can also include a message now when your page is built it will be posted on your wall letting people know that the page was created so anyone who looks on your personal wall will see the link to the page and could potentially click over and then of course you personally will like the page so you should keep that clicked for now i'm going to unclick these just because i'm creating a dummy page to walk you through this process You'll click continue on to the third step, which is basic info. And you're going to input your website. I'm just going to use my website here and tell people about it. This is a dummy page for demonstration purposes only. And this really would be what your mission is. Uh, the John Smith Foundation helps children. Uh, the John Smith Foundation's mission is to provide relief to flood victims in the Midwest. That's the kind of thing you would put on the About section. And when you're done with that, step three, you click Continue, and here is the page. Uh, it looks exactly like most other Facebook pages, except you'll see here the John Smith Foundation is a community. Once you've created your Facebook page for your organization, Facebook recognizes this is a new page and it will take you through some steps and these are called the getting started steps and you'll see up here above your wall the first tab is a getting started tab and this gives you some information that you could do in order it's telling you that you should add an image you can upload one from your computer or import a photo from your website so if you do have a website you might want to click import a photo from your website it'll search your website and find photos that you might be able to use before we do that, we'll talk about some of the other things that you can do. It also wants you to invite your friends and let them know. This is one of the steps we skipped before. Tell your fans by importing your contacts. Again, this is a step that we skipped before. You can post status updates. Promote this page on your website by adding a like box. And this is a piece of code. If you're not a developer, you might want to leave this to the development professionals or someone like OrgSpring who can help you do it. And then set up your mobile phone so you can post Facebook status updates from your mobile phone. So these are six things that you can do to get your page started. You don't need to do all of them. In fact, you don't need to do any of them. But if you want to connect and grow your community, you should do each of these in order the way Facebook suggests. So very simply, if you don't have a image, you can upload one from your computer or you can import one from your website. We have a website, so let's do that we're going to tell it to go to OrgSpring. And we'll click Import. And you'll see this runs some code, and it's actually importing images right now from our website. And you can click on this arrow to go through the different types of images that might appear on the website. So let's choose this graph. This is a nice picture. And let's just click Select Image. 
and it's going to crop the image so that it fits. Great. And that's the image that we imported. And that was adding an image to the website. So now we've added an image to our stream. If we come down here on photos, you'll see that that image shows up. So, and it also lists it as our logo. Now, if we wanted to, let's go back to the getting started page. If we wanted to change the logo, all you need to do is hover over the logo, click change picture, and it'll give you a choice to choose a file where you can go into your computer and pick it. Or you can even take a picture. If you have a webcam with your computer, it will tap into your computer and use your webcam to take a picture. Now, I don't recommend using a personal picture for an organization page. You should have a logo or a picture, something from an event, something that relates to your organization, and you would put that in as your logo. We can click View Page to come back to our page. Now, you'll notice we have five steps. Since we completed step one and uploaded a photo, it removes that from our getting started. Every time you do one of these tasks, it will remove it. And when all these tasks are removed, the Getting Started page will be removed from your wall. And you will be left just with your wall, your info, your friend activity, and your photos. And then later on, in another tutorial, we'll show you how to add different tabs for things like donations and adding to mailing lists and things like that. So take a moment and go through and invite your personal friends and let them know about your page. Tell your fans by importing other contacts and Facebook will let them know about your page. And then post an update, and we can actually do this right now. So we'll post an update, and when you hit that, it brings you right to the wall. And it tells you a note, this is where you share stories, links, photos, and it's a standard Facebook page from here on out. So we might post something like, we're very excited to be on Facebook. This is our new Facebook page for the John Smith Foundation and we'll share that. Just like that we have shared a post. Here it is. If you have any questions you can shoot us a note on our blog at orgspring.com or leave a comment on this post Check out the text version for some additional resources that might help you navigate the Facebook page system. And take a look at our next tutorial in relation to Facebook, which shows you how to set your security settings. So when you start a new Facebook page, you want to make sure that the Facebook page is secure. Also, depending on how many fans and friends and likes and comments you have, you might be getting many emails throughout the day. When we talk about security settings, we'll also talk about privacy settings and communication settings where you tell Facebook how often you want to be contacted in relation to your new Facebook page. Some people like to be contacted every time somebody likes them, some people only like one update a day, and some people don't like any updates at all. They can just look at their page when they log in to Facebook. So we will show that to you in the next tutorial. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again soon.